Hey, this is Mike with Tactical Wood Gas, and I'm um, today showing you one of my favorite ways to use our battery banks. You can see my, what is this, a 2011 Nissan Frontier, and I had a canopy put on the back, <clears throat> and I had these uh, Yakima rails put on, and you can see here how I made little pivot points and attach points for the solar panel that goes on the top and it's just the right fit so I'm pretty happy with this one this guy is 150 watts and the power cables are underneath it and then uh, come down in between the canopy and the truck so that's one of the ways that I keep the battery bank charged and then the other way is up here in the front I've got from the alternator up to the battery where we charge, keep the main battery charged. So I've got going to the back, here's the negative side and the positive side. So this is a 30 amp relay. So the the switch side of it that gets switch, connected, uh, switched, is is power um, and then it continues on and ground is, is hard connected. So then on the coil to activate it, on the one side I come to ground and on the other side, I come up to the fuse box, and this little guy here, I bought at O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And what you do is you you probe around with the with your ignition on until you find 12 volts, and then you go and you turn the ignition off. If it turns off, then you found a spot where you've got uh, uh, 12 volts that switched with the ignition. So. They sell this little product here where you pull the, the fuse that is supposed to be in there, you stick the unit in, and then the original fuse is the green one at the bottom, and that just makes the normal connection so you haven't changed how your car works. And then the second spot up here is to add a relay that comes out. So I've put a little relay in there, and so when I turn the ignition on, the 12 volts hits here, goes through my little extra fuse, and runs up to the relay. And switches the relay on so when the relay when when the ignition is on then my alternator and battery here are connected in parallel to the battery bank that's in the in the trunk not the trunk the uh, the bed of the truck so I'm going to close this guy up now what how I arrange this thing is on one side uh, I've got hardware that keeps it connected and that's this stuff in that corner right there and then on this side I've got basically the same thing um, except the, it's offset a little bit so I can pivot up without running into things on that side so I always have to um, tilt it up from this one side and that uh, also keeps my cables that are coming off from the solar panel um, from move, moving around too much now they go in between, let's see, there we go. Goes in between and goes all the way down to the bottom and there's a place for them to get in. So let's go take a look at that. This, by the way, is my ham radio antenna. Um, normally, for I've got a Yesu 857 Delta and this antenna goes up to that, which is in the cab. But when I'm sitting here in the back operating, then I unscrew that and I just put a cable in for the radio that I work from the back. Okay, so this little boot here, um, the little oval thing there, that on the other side here behind the batteries is where both those sets of wires come in. And I just cut a little slit in there and then it was barely big enough for those two wires to come through. And uh, so they come up Right now I've got it connected. Oh, and naturally it's upside down. So let's take a look at that. So this is putting about 6.2, well, about six-ish amps into the battery bank from the solar panel. Right now nothing is coming in from the alternator because the ignition is off and so we're disconnected from that. Um, so we're running totally off the solar panel at this point. So, the uh, 12 volt connector, oop, I just disconnected 12 volts. Let's stick that guy back in. There we go. So that 12 volts that comes off of the 
um, battery comes up and into the input, what does it say? Yeah, DC in down there. Um, comes into the input and then it's fused all the way along. So the, the, this one here is where the car battery connection comes up and plugs in. So when I'm, when I have no sun, it's nighttime for example, and I'm driving, that 12 volts is on because the relay's on. It comes in through this fuse, back out this fuse, and then down to the battery and that's how it directly charges those batteries. Then we've got, let's see, this guy is for my little uh, Elecraft KX3. Oh, uh, uh, and right now, okay, before I started, I had it dialed into some CW that was coming in, so. Um, but something that's always there. So you can kind of hear the tick, 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 tick. 23 hours and something. So the 10, the, uh, 10 megahertz is, is whoop, there we go. You heard the beep telling exactly what time it was. Let's turn that guy back down. So that's where this one comes from. I've got this other one here that uh, runs my fan and when you're in the uh, when you're out in the in the summertime, it's good to have uh, air that comes across. This is actually velcroed in, so I can put it anywhere I want. It actually connects to the ceiling, um, but uh, mostly it just sits right here. Even when I'm driving, actually, this thing is just with velcro is really sturdy. Um, now this is a Road Pro model RP8000, which does not have this switch. Um, I had to add this. The uh, problem is that it had it has uh, kind of a low and high. Both of them were too high, um, and were making too much noise, and was a little more fan than I wanted. So I bought an Amazon motor controller, and all you do is you open it up. You got the red and black wires that go up. In fact, you can see them through here. Those red and black wires, not the big ones on the other side, but the little ones on the inside. Um, you just cut those, and uh, connect it to that motor controller, drill a hole and stick this on and then you've got to, you can dial it to exactly what you want. Um, and the final one is for the refrigerator. And this is a small one and in the in the real heat it it makes the drinks comfortably cool, but it doesn't uh, doesn't make them really chilly. Um, it'll make it pretty cold in the winter, but it uh, if the air if the ambient air is is too warm then it'll only uh, cool it down to a certain degree. So, let's see. Safety. Let's get that radio bag out of the way. And get this guy moved just a little bit. Okay, so I've got this track that came with the truck and these little gripper things uh, are um, cleats maybe, I'm not sure what to call them. But anyway, um, my battery bank is held down with a ratchet strap that holds it really, really, really secure. I can't move these guys. Um, and that's going to be important if things go really bad and you tumble your truck. Or, you know, I've, I've been on roads where my, my buckets, my uh, milk crates here, come off. Um, last thing you want is to have um, acid-filled batteries bouncing around inside, or if you're if you've rolled your truck, you don't want those um, coming through the window and killing you. So, in this case, I've got the main, I've got the 1200 watt battery bank in here. It's got the solar charge controller in the back. It's got an AC charger here, and it's not currently doing anything. I, I don't have shore power now, so there's, you know, it just kind of sits there, and I really don't use that. Um, and then this is a um, extension cord because I use this as portable power when I'm off-grid and it just uh, goes to that coil and I, what I do is I just reach in and uncoil that, bring the extension out to where I need it and everything that I have currently um, runs off this 1200 watt so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, in order to run longer I've got um, a second battery in parallel and I've got a video on that you can check that out on YouTube and it's basically it's two, you know red to red, black to black so the pluses and minus, pluses connect to pluses, minus connect to minuses, and then I can run twice as long. So let's see, I think that's about everything. Let's see, we're at what 13.8 volts um, with 
everything running and uh, so we're keeping up with that we're at uh, 5.3 watts uh, the five, no about we're bouncing around between six and seven amps um, so we're uh, and we've got on the uh, on the solar side we've got 16 ish volts so we're ke easily keeping up with the load that I've got in here now um, so anyway that's uh, how I like to use uh, my battery bank in the truck um, sometimes I got a few wires going on here but uh, when all this stuff is put away it's nice and tidy um, and I'm not sure how to pronounce that but anyway I found that guy on Amazon it's, it's pretty nice so this is Mike with Tactical Wood Gas signing off